Hello there everybody, this is Bones with another Let's Play. Today we're doing Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Um, <clears throat> and now I remember the big craze with uh, Five Nights at Freddy, uh, Scott Hawk Hawthorne, is it? I believe his name is. Uh, or Hawthorne, please don't kill me guys. Um, I think it's Hawthorne. Uh, this guy cranked out quite a few, uh, had some interesting lore, uh, the games really took off, took off a, on a life of their own, had a huge fan base, the fan base had theories, uh, it just got huge. Uh, this one is supposed to be a light-hearted game. Uh, it looks like it, I don't know, uh, I guess we'll find out, eh? So we're going to be doing this one. The link will be below. This is another free game. Uh, so, you know, let's uh, see how we do here. Well, I think I got to design a pizza first. So what do we want in our pizza? Uh, pepperoni, sausage, and mushroom. That's a classic Italian right there. Although I will tell you something funny, a lot of Italian places, their pepperoni isn't the same kind of pepperoni. They use salami in Italy in some places, so a little fact for you. So that looks like a tasty pizza. Um, God, now I want pizza. Alright, so we'll go to the pizzeria. Alright, oh god. Alright. Move, throw, shift. So I throw pizza to the kids. Oh god, I go collect them. These little suckers do not like it. they not digging it. Okay, 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 I get it. So I gotta keep throwing them until the kids are gone. I see what's up. God, I got so many pizzas now. Oh man, this kid is super hungry. Eat your pizza. Eat your damn pizza. Eat your pizza. I feel like this is me with pizza rolls. Is it me or do they like... I don't know. Maybe I'm a pig, but I tell you what, man. Pizza rolls? And I know they're... Or what the hell? You got somebody blocking me now? You mother... Alright. Uh, so this one's a little different, isn't it, guys? So, Alright, so... No, no problem. We just gotta get... Fix our buffer zone here. How is he blocking everything? We need him as a goalie. Should have been a goalie for the damn Red Wings. We could use him. Uh, Alright, can I, like, whoop this thing's ass something? Come on, guys. I need my pizza. I don't seem to be on a time limit. Um, I, he... From what I understood from the ad, it said this was a light-hearted game for the holidays. Uh, although, I'm not gonna lie. Um, s I don't like seeing dark, uh, or what appears to me to be evil Freddy there. If you played Five Nights at Freddy, you know what I mean when I say there is a bad Freddy and I don't like seeing Mr. Fazbear chilling out there all shadowy and creepy. And no, that's not a racist statement, I'm just saying. Don't turn it in all that shit, I guess. Uh, let's see. Come on. Oh, you think you can juke, motherfucker? Let's go. Alright, I just need a steady sale of these. So let's pizza up. So I gotta keep him down here. If I keep him down here, he stays down here. And real quick, I'm just gonna sail these to that kid. Yeah! Uh... What? What the hell is this? You are not a 
really hard to beat the thing. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. Oh god, what is this? What is this? What do I, what do, I do? Oh Jesus, that is horrifying. Okay. Ah. What else do I do? Oh guys, I, do, I, I don't know what we're doing here. Audio prompt, right? I guess I just play it until something happens, I don't know. That is horrifying. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Prompt one. Oh. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Can I just try yes for all these things? They don't really tell me what I'm documenting, do they? Just that I hear them, maybe? Is that what that is? Is I hear them? Document oh, okay. results. Yes, I heard it. I don't know what I mean. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Oh, don't you. Don't you do it. Don't. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. What? It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've Is saved this? money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's what? right, restaurant ownership and management. What is Something this? almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. <laughs> with your initial investment, you'll receive like everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus Revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your Man, pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Mm. Being a thrifty shopper is smart. But be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally that obligated to provide. Crazy, Remember, there. You are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. So. Okay. Let's try buying an item. 
Use blueprint mode. Okay, so I hit I'm ready. Let's get started. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. So this is Great. like a restaurant. That should be more than enough. Apparently. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you've finished shopping, Are you click the button me? labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. Dumpster you can switch diver back and forth weekly. between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Obviously, we want paper cups and plates, right? That's a given. I feel like a balloon barrel is a pretty good thing for kids. A budget bowel pit worries me slightly. Sanitation station I can't even afford. It's a duck pond. Bucket bob. So I can't do my animatronics yet. I think I need a stage to do animatronics. And what would a Fazbear be without animatronics? So let's slap one up there if I can. Bucket Bob, Mr. Kendu, Mr. Hugs. That's creepy as shit. Let's start with Bucket Bob. Do I need a pizza, like a pizza oven, anything? That's just for atmosphere, I dig that. I'm trying to get the atmosphere stuff down pat here, guys, because I feel like, uh, that's, shit, I can't do the discount bottle pet now, I was gonna do, uh, and that sanitation station is no good, so alright, let's see what we can do, these kids aren't gonna be super thrilled, but, Okay, so that's that's what's going on here. So we got uh, there he is. What's uh, we got nothing there. We got nothing there. Oh Lordy, we suck. It's a sponsorship offer. Hell yeah! Give me that damn money. Let's go back to that catalog and get some shit. We're in Dumpster Diver Weekly Heaven right now, baby. I want that ball pit for those kids now. I feel like an arcade game would be a very smart, smart thing. Oh gee, I wonder who that is. The Candy Cadet. Um, let me just say this. For a free game, totally digging it. Uh, this is damn impressive. So, Scott, good job, man. Good job. Obviously, we want the colorful plates. I feel like the sanitation department's uh, kind of like a must. Do I want a duck pond or do I want myself a... We need a sanitation department guy. Come on now. Um, uh, so we're going to make some money and we're going to come back and get some of those other things. For now, let's start with the duck pond. We're gonna be that ghetto kind of outdoor place. 
that's I guess what I'll do here, right? So Alright, so we got ourselves here. A budget pit. We got ourselves a little duck pond for these kids. They can go nuts and accidentally whack their head on things, because that's what kids do. Parents, take that lightly here. I'm not actually suggesting any kid should whack their head on anything, because that's creepy as shit. Finished. Your restaurant is now officially open. Sweet. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. Okay. You have a lot of work to do while oh, no. patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. Okay. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. Are you fucking there is kidding a motion me? detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. This is literally Keep in another mind, however, five minutes that you ready. can only have one of these active Full at any given time. Ready. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Sound validation, creating little noise. Oh god, guys. I'm not loving this right now. What is this? It's a power that's immense. F still flashlight? I don't know. What am I doing? Pieces H. No, go, go. go fair to the fucking screen. Okay, uh, order supplies, order cups. Y'all don't know because you guys are natives to it. You guys do not know how much that noise there that you're hearing was a part of my, like, growing up. Watching food sandwiches. Oh, Jesus. For the first time ever, you guys are gonna see Bones almost shit himself during the game, for sure. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. Five Nights at Freddy Games. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What are you doing to me, Scott? Damn it. Oh, this shit is not cool at all. Not cool at all. This is, uh... Son of a bitch, this is great. Maintenance. I call toilets. We are getting this done. We are getting the F out of here. We are doing it. We are making this happen. Oh, sweet. God, don't. Up and sneak up on me, whatever you are. Down go the vents a little. I notice here you have a temperature gauge, right? So I think that uh, once it gets up too high, then maybe you overheat. I don't know. I don't want to pass out in here. Sweet Jesus. I do not like where this is coming. This is. Uh, I'm hoping, like, if every day you get to keep upgrading your restaurant and stuff, then I will definitely go ahead and call it and say this will be my favorite product. Um, it's free, you know, so 
you really can't complain about the price tag. Um, now I'm done. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, mm -hmm. and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Me too. Um, now I'm curious. This is a very small download size, actually, guys. This game was Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. Okay. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics oh, found dear. in the alley outside the back door. No, let's not. Things are found here quite often. Please. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then, you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences. Namely, death. Should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. Mm -hmm. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete oh, the know. maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. What you have chosen you to process. proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company as you taser to return the Some animatronic idiots. to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or okay. aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. That most certainly looks a little different, doesn't it, guys? Right? Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I don't quite get the audio from the I'm just noticing that. Document results. Is that what I'm hearing? Begin audio prompt oh my in three. My guy. Jesus, mother! Oh, you! Oh, Jesus! Oh, dude! Craziness! Um, unlike. Yo, games, apparently I don't die from that. That's a good sign. I probably shouldn't be as excited about not dying as I am, but I will tell you, after playing other Five Nights at Freddy's, I'll take it. Problem one I have is how the hell do I kill the thing loose in my pizzeria now? Oh, Jesus. Your kids spending money to make money, don't we, guys? What are we thinking up here? The old Nagi. The old Nagin. That's, uh, that's 110. We're gonna get that going so soon enough we can upgrade our stuff, right? Do, 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 do. 
Alright. So, uh, what do we got here? We got ourselves a midnight motor. Uh, a coin slot. Oh, God. I'm gonna add a damn coin slot for now. So we have 500. Let's get this son of a bitch there off there. How do I get rid of him? Can I, like, guys, you know? Can I fix him? Do something? I don't know. You're right. We're basically trying to, uh, we got some new shit here, so. Flex our muscle, shall we, guys? Get some money sunk into this place. Happy Pro. We'll start with Happy Pro. How about that? And, uh, Fruity Mates. There we go. Now we got some money going into this place, so. I clicked on him. Oh, there he goes. Okay, so. That's what I'm talking about. We're rocking and rolling, baby. Let's get this little bullshit out of the way. Put in another thing there. Badoom! Fantastical! Alright. What do I got left? What do I got left? What do I got left? I got a, I got a little bit left. Not enough yet to upgrade. I'm scared to death right now. Um. Anyways, we're gonna call it here, guys. Uh, this is a little test here. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. The link is down below. This is a free game, so give it a try. It's, uh, oof, it's something. Alright, uh, it's deceptively clever, I'll tell you that. Uh, I have, of course, Ben Bones. Thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, uh, like, and share us with all your friends. And you guys have a good day.